package came in today. You know what this is? Look at that. Fresh seal. This is 25NLD2. I already got one of these, but curiosity, right? Pen tool, clamps. So the difference today is it's now a one piece side frame on this side instead of having two plates. The other thing that they did now is they incorporated the international, the VISX handle factory on this. You can get the egg knob option on this, but at the moment they come with the power handles. Look, no line in there, just a quick flick. And pretty decent free spool on this. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Here is your Gen 1 25N. And if you're curious, I have the international handle for the Fathom that I modded myself. Uh, you may see now in a different video, which is now available here, right? Look at that. It's so it's the same VASX 12 and 16 size that this would be. Two things. Stem on this is already further apart. This one's a little bit shorter. Uh, right now it looks about close to 34 millimeter. Yeah, already much more. This one is towards 38 millimeter further apart. So it does have a wider spread um, away from it, but let's take a look. Is that angle the reason? Could have been angled more, but it is further away from it. Made in China still, right? Because these are your entry level of lever drags from pen. They do have the squall, but honestly, this Fathom line, I would say these are way better. You're, you don't want to go for the graphite frame, which the only thing I'm seeing right now is the lever drag is not metal like how this one is, uh, aluminum. But what I understood is that if you want to set your drag, it's you can dial this as much as you want. This this doesn't move. So there you go. Look at that. You dial it there. So you won't be messing around with this while you are working the fish. They incorporate the style of the VISX two speed where instead of having that twist, it's the little switch now. That releases it. Capacity wise on both of these um, on specs, they are still identical. So I'm assuming the same spool size on both of them. Everything does look pretty identical still. So this cast aluminum, man, I mean, it still feels really nice. Um, it's just a coating on it. These coatings don't matter. Uh, they're there to make it look pretty for off the bat to prevent all that corrosion. It holds up pre pretty decently well. Um, I would go for how your design of the reel works for you. That's most important. On this one, the only obvious plastic piece that you have is the gear cover on the bottom side. And looking at it, you're still seeing the same thing right here. And that's what you're gonna notice is the black pieces, this one and your lever right here. The, the lever action is really smooth all the way through strike. Here's a little button to get you into full. Um, that button, just like the Gen 1, is still plastic. Button here to get you to release this two speed is, it feels like a plastic piece. But overall, really nice. I mean, when I'm looking at it, pretty decent. It's a nice reel. So let's take it apart and see what it looks like. You're going to need the pen factory tool. Um, it's a little different from the one that you have now. Instead of just placing in and turning the neural knob, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the whole piece with it. So that this whole thread comes off with it. So you see it's, that tool is going to need to sit here and you're gonna knurl it off. Remove that, remove the push pin. <clears throat> You see the uh, the release mechanism here, and there's two Phillips holding it. Just watch out for that spring. And 
that's off right there. My understanding was that this was different from the, the handle was different from the previous VISX, but I'm looking at it right here. The differences are that the screws are different. Um, that's for where the two-speed would screw onto. That's similar to how Talica is like that. Um, I opened it up on a Talica before and there is two screws that throw it on and that's for the release of the two-speed. Um, just these two screws. That's about it. That means... Look at the tolerances if you use the The uh, the first gen fathom, it's it's pretty tight. Remember, you gotta pull out to unscrew. Looks different. A lot of plastic in there. Uh, so I took off the plate and the bottom side. You can see right here, stainless steel gears. Man, that's like fresh. All right, took a little bit of just a uh, little bit of pressure, and I got it off. Lifting up the gear, double dogs. How's it look on this side here? It's exactly all we need it to be. Um, clicker is really loud. So to get a better comparison between the two reels, um, Gen 1 and Gen 2, I opened them both up. Um, we did take a look at this and my assumption was that these were uh, brass or bronze, but um, I got a magnet here putting a paper towel, and I actually checked both of them. Um, my Fathom was the same color, so I think it's have some type of um, plating over it to just you know prevent corrosion. And this is the one from the Gen 1, same thing. So they're both stainless steel. So to get in a little further depth, we're just gonna take a look at the internals of it. This is your drivetrain side on both the reels. I, I feel like it is an identical, um, swap over of most of the internal parts um, if you're looking at it there's just a little bit of a different layout on how the dog paw works but they are both double dog but looking at it here you know that the main and pinion gears are exactly the same i actually removed it and looked at the bearings so let's take a look right here it's on this side even the bearings themselves looks like they were brought over from from one and another to it so you're getting the same internals as gen 1 um, it is a lot more of a cleaner finish here I was looking at the two pins right here and right here where their placement are are almost exactly similar to how it was on the other place just so that they can um, interlock with the the, fa the frame itself so overall um, everything is identical on the drivetrain on this um, so nice to see right so we know that one of the differences is the lever this one here that we have now is plastic on Gen 2, and we still got this aluminum piece on Gen 1. Um, you know, it makes me curious if you're able to swap it because this plastic piece, it's, it's interesting because the drag cam, this piece, they're both the same material. Um, I don't know if it's graphite composite, you know, something similar. And that's what we have here right now, um, is this material for the drag cam. While on the original one, take a look at it, it's it was all steel. And looks like steel on this part, and then uh, aluminum on the lever. Aluminum, maybe something CNC'd. This one is definitely milled out. Oh, here we go, it does have some magnet, magnetic properties on it. I was just was on the wrong place for it. Let me try that again. Oh, this one definitely not. So this one is perhaps aluminum on this. And everything else is similar overall. Just these two pieces. Well, does it bother you? Um, it's not a big deal. I mean, unless you really drop your reel at a bad angle and it, you're, you're gonna be toast after that, but 
this is exactly the same question we were talking about in Atorium versus the Trinidad because we know that the, the clutch lever was made out of some type of plastic material and someone said it too they're all like hey once it drops it's gone but it's you know the, you're talking about the price very negligible pricing for what it is but that's it um, you can decide if the Gen 2 is right for you or if you still like the Gen 1 because honestly the prices are still great if you could find it on the used market it will last you a really long time the only way you're going to beat these up is if you pretty much thrash the whole thing and hook up onto something beyond its capabilities. So thanks for watching this review. The one piece side frame, it's a slimmer profile making it easier to palm in your hands. The T-bar, I'm always a fan of. You could tell from my previous vids, just about adapted most of my reels for them. The drag adjustment knob with the locking feature, I think that's pretty cool and I think other manufacturers might adopt that same concept. The internals, they're pretty much identical to Gen 1, which is a good thing. We know they're proven and landings, are, you know, it's part of their rental, so they're already trusted by them. Hope that helps with your decision if you're considering one. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, take care.